what's up guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna be doing kind of a farm tour of everything and all the animals we have i try to do one of these every year and kind of missed out on last year so we're doing one this year so where better else to start than the chickens here so here in the big chicken pen main flock here i have about 75 chickens uh, actually 75 on the dot. I just counted them try to count them every week or so and We have more than 10 different breeds like 12 or 15 different breeds here and Then we have the ducks total. I have 15 ducks just here. I have nine of them and One of the original ducks over here this white one in the corner She is almost six years old. She's the oldest one in these mallards are three years old and other guys are less than a year old so some of the chickens here are older than six years old this guy reggie one of the head roosters is approaching that age and i got some hens like this hen she just she's just about six years old now so a lot of chickens in the pen they have a spacious pen it gets way grown up and green in the summer they really like that have a little duck pond here i'm going to fix up in the spring and then they have some huts and a pool um that i made out of a boat over there I'm trying to grow some trees in here too give them some more shade in the middle area but they have a nice big pen i have this other pen that's the brooder pen where i put chicks in it everything and they have a little house letting the main flock go in there right now because I don't have any but a lot of chickens in the flock it's the highest amount of chickens I've ever had a lot of old guys so laying isn't as good as it used to be but I have a batch of 15 or so that should start laying for the first time in the spring I have this pen back here where I've been putting a lot of the chickens that have actually been getting sick uh, over the last fall it was like a little quarantine pen kind of area that I'll close this door but I got them letting them over there right now so there's the chicken flock so there's the door to the chicken pen and it's a privacy fence blocks off it's good for wind and you can't see in there and they have privacy but there's our main field where all the horses and the cows graze sometimes. We have another field to the right of me where the cows are most of the time, but today they're over here. So they can eat some hay out of the hay barrel, but these cows are almost a year old. I think they turn a year in February, but they're gonna be moms and get bred and then we'll use the other, their offspring and butcher them but they're quite friendly and pet them and everything but there's the cows just three of them and here's the two pigs rosie and daisy the bigger one's rosie and we've had her for a little over two years and the little one is less than a year old but i don't think the little one's gonna get as big as she is she's they're both mini pigs. They look identical, even though they're not related in any way. But they have this pen and a pretty big house right there. Kind of formed together randomly right beside one of the chicken pens. So next to the pig pen, we have um, this feed shed here to keep all the feed and everything. It's a little cluttered right now, and we're getting more chicken food in, but to keep the horse and the uh, chicken feed, as well as the cat food, feed the cats up there, the cats sleep there, and the pig food, but 
keep it organized most of the time. And through this door is the larger horse barn that the horses really don't use that much anymore unless it's raining or the cows like to come in here and sleep sometimes. But there's a tack room that used to be a stall and these used to be divided up, but we don't keep the horses in here at night, so doesn't have a huge purpose. They get fed here and that's pretty much it. But it's a pretty nice barn. So here's the other duck flock. We got six. Uh, black Kayagua ducks in here and they have a nice big pond here for them. It's actually frozen right now because of the cold. It got down to 19 this morning but it looks great in the summertime. We have these plants growing up and then trees all around it that are half underwater because all the rain we've been getting but it stays full and it's pretty big. The ducks really like it. There's also a nice fountain that sprays up. It looks great. But these ducks like it and they have a nice pen over here too with a nice cozy home that is pretty thick wood to keep some warm in there with a bunch of straw in there for their nests they haven't started laying yet but they should be at the age soon where they start probably in the springtime these guys i'm going to let them kind of do their own nature thing and not collect the eggs so We'll see how that goes. Right. These are some good looking ducks. This is Luna, our youngest dog. She's not even a year old yet. She'll turn one soon, I think in a month or so. But she's a good one. The most playful out of all the dogs. The other dogs are like older than seven years old. So she's a lot younger than them. But she's playful. She goes and gets the eggs with me every night. And she's a good one. Here's two of the cats right here. And this is Fred, one of the Tom cats. He's got a chipped ear. But for a year or so, he was barely here. Last year, like 29, or two years ago, 2019, he was barely here. He'd come in and eat every couple months. But then last year, past like six months, he's been here more than any of the other cats and he's the nicest of them all for some reason. I think he was staying in the neighbor's house and he got kicked out so he didn't come back here. But there's one of the other cats. But I think these guys are, he's probably three or four years old. And then I don't, I don't remember where we got the other one. Then we have two other cats that I'll try to find. Here's our oldest dog. He's a Great Pyrenees. Name is Jimmy. And he has allergies in his eyes. And one of his legs is messed up. So he has a limp. But he's not doing too bad for his condition. And he's older. He's like six years old. And usually they only live to be about ten. So he's got a couple of years left in him. There's a biscuit, the oldest one. I think he's seven years old and he's a little rat terrier. We've had him for the longest we've ever had a dog. And he's a good dog. He don't really like to play with the other ones, but she does. There's Joe the goat, one of the two goats over here. We have the goats roped off in a big field, six acre field. And horses over here right now eating the cows hay. They like to kind of do a swap. But these are two of the horses. The other ones are scattered out. And there's one, he's an Arabian and quarter horses here. This is Wesley. He's 17 years old. I don't know the ages of any of the other ones. They're not mine. But 
here and so forth. And this is Louie the goat. He's, I think he's three, three years old. He's very energetic, but I've been giving them hay since the grass is dead, but the goats will graze more than any of the other animals will. But they're nice goats. These two chickens right here aren't mine necessarily. They're not in the main flock, but that hen gave birth to this guy when she sat on some eggs two years ago. But I've nowhere, no idea where this hen came from. She's not mine, and they, they kind of roost in different spots, sometimes in the barn, sometimes a loafing shed over there. But they stray away from the other chickens. All right, so over a hundred animals we have everywhere across our little farm here. A lot of the chickens make up for that, 75 of them, but pretty set with the number of chickens I have right now. I don't really want any more birds for the time being. We might try to see if some hens will hatch out some chicks in the spring, but as far as buying more, pretty good with all the breeds I have right now. And it turned out to be a pretty nice day. It, it was really cold this morning, but it's in the mid 50s. Sun's shining and there's no wind. So, pretty good day out. So, thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.